What up, guys? Welcome back to Digi Daily. Digi Daily. Let me do the real quick. Digi Daily. Digi Daily. We're filming very late. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy, it's been such a busy day. Uh, oh, wait, I don't want to show you that. I guess I already saw it. I was gonna chill the time, but I forgot. If I press B, it turns the screen on. Around all that. But yeah, let's just show them off already. We got Nanimon again. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention when I first got Nanimon. Uh, the funny thing about him is the fact that he's a Tamagotchi that came to the digital world somehow. I gotta look into that. Like, I found out, like, very recently that like, they're actually the same, not the same universe, or they have kind of a shared universe, something among those lines, uh, because Tamagotchi's, uh, language is the same as Digicode, which is really interesting. Uh, and Nanimon and a couple other Digimon, I believe, are actually Tamagotchi who have, like, found their way into the digital world or, like, went there. It's very interesting. It's very weird. Uh, Nanimon also looks... <laughs> he's just a very weird-looking sprite. He's an even weirder-looking Digimon. Uh, but I love him. He's just such a weirdo. And, of course, we have Dorugamon. Right? Dorugamon? Yes. Mm, yes. Dorugamon. Uh, I'm really happy. I was actually really worried. Nanimon actually evolved first somehow. I don't I don't know how I wasn't expecting that. Even though I believe this is the first egg we hatched. So I was getting really worried, but then I, about an hour later, he finally evolved. So I was like extremely, extremely just like relieved that he didn't like, uh, I don't know, no evolution fails. That's what I'm happy about. Um, believe I have one for Nanimon by accident because uh, he falls asleep at like I think nine and I, I, I thought they fall asleep at ten but they don't apparently so at eight I'm just gonna put them both to bed because uh, usually around eight I like oh it is eight right now <laughs> usually at around this time I put them to bed uh, because I'm doing something else or you know like uh, I'm like getting tired so I, I forget to check them as often uh, and on these it's hard, not harder, but it's easier to get care mistakes because uh, it takes about 15 minutes to get a care mistake, whereas the originals it took about 30 minutes. Um, so you gotta be careful with that, so yeah. Uh, I already did battles today, uh, cleared the bar, so they should both be good for evolution. They both have uh, 97, 97, he's got 197. Um, so they're, they're both, they should be good as far as um, evolutions and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Sorry for the, uh, short episode, but, uh, I really don't have much to talk about, uh, today. You know, just, uh, some new Digibands. I'm really happy. I, I hope this is gonna be a good run. Um, cause, you know how much I love me. Uh, I really like how Titanmon looks like, and I want to get him, and I also, I really like Al Alphamon, and just Dorumon in general. I'm really happy I have him raising him again, um, because I kind of need to, because, uh, I'm gonna need him this month. Well, not really this month, next month, uh, <laughs> starting tomorrow, uh, because tomorrow is June, guys. Holy crap, that's, uh, pretty quick. Uh, tomorrow is June, which means that... Uh, the Pendulum 20th come out next month. I don't know when they're shipping out. Uh, all I know is that, uh, I should be getting them probably a week or two after everyone in Japan gets theirs. So once you start seeing Japanese videos pop up with people playing with them and whatnot, uh, that means that we're gonna get them soon. At least if you've pre-ordered from, like, Japan you want and stuff. I heard Japan you want's pretty good with, uh, their shipping. I'll, I'll, I'll get a, um, I'll get an email, and when I do, I'll, I'll make a video of me freaking out. Uh, telling you guys how I got the email and that they're coming. Um, so yeah, I, I just I really can't wait for that. Hopefully they come. I don't know. I hope they come sometime next week. Not next week. Uh, the week after. Like in the next two weeks, I want to say. I hope they come out in the next two weeks. Uh, I'd love to uh, just show them off and stuff like that. Um, hopefully they come before I'm done with this run. Or at least around the same time I'm done with this run. Because that would actually be pretty interesting. Um, being able to uh, do that. I'm definitely going to... Uh, if I'm still running this and it's still on. I'm definitely going to... I'm going to definitely copy over uh, Alphamon. Uh, maybe Titanmon too. Who knows? Oh, you poopy. Come on, man. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's all. It's starting to get noisy in my health again. Oh, yay. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You know I appreciate you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Peace. Shh. The baby is sleeping. Psych. Welcome back, guys. I owe you guys some questions. Remember that? The Hobbit sub special? Well, welcome to the Surprise 100 sub special. Yay! I was gonna show my face and stuff. But, um, it's really, like, it's just crappy in my room. My room's lighting is, like, extremely crappy. I have a lamp right here. If this lamp wasn't here, I'll show you how bad it looks. This is my normal lighting. That's how bad it is. <laughs> okay, so, let's just get to stuff, and, uh, let's just do it. Because I, you guys have some really interesting questions, so let me just start already. God dang it. Okay, so. I'm going to start with the YouTube questions because only one person asked questions on YouTube. So thank you. And that was Army. Uh, Army style. Actually, I forgot how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. I feel like you told me how to pronounce it before and I forgot. Okay, so the first one. How long have you been playing Digimon for? Um, like the toys specifically, I've been playing since I had my D3. Um, which was the version 1 D3, not this one. I can't find mine, sadly. Uh, so that's like 2000... Let me check the back of this. 2000 and... Yeah, you know, just legit 2000. Uh, so since like 2000, uh, I've been playing with the Digimon toys. Um, as far as the games, I only played Digimon World for like a couple seconds because my cousin owned it and it just confused the crap out of me because I only knew Digimon by the adventure anime. So the idea of taking care of your Digimon and taking him somewhere when he needs to poop and stuff was just like beyond me uh, at the time. Um, what made you start collecting seriously and when? Uh, when? Okay, so let's start with what. So what made me start collecting seriously? The... Um, around 2013, I want to say because I started getting back into Digimon and then they announced Try and I was like, oh yeah, you know, let me just like look back into this and stuff like that and I already had, you know, some of the stuff you see here. Um, and I've always kind of had them so I started like trying to get a bunch of different devices and, and just researching them and stuff like that because they're all so cool and a lot of them I didn't have. Um, um, so that's what, and I also said when, because I said 2013, uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what made me start, um, and then definitely with the version 20th, so that's when it just really ramped up to a 10, because I bought the D-Cyber and then the, uh, whoops, the, the D-Cyber and the Digimon Neo around the same time, um, and then they announced the 15th, uh, not the 15th, yeah, they announced the 15th, but I couldn't afford them, because they were so dang expensive, uh, and they only got more expensive since, and then they announced the version 20th, and I was like, yeah, uh, I'm back, <laughs> um, What's your favorite memory involving Digimon? That's really interesting. I have to really like pinpoint one. I have a couple. Um, <laughs> I have a couple. Uh, one of them is definitely uh, watching the Digimon movie um, and seeing like Omnimon show up for the first time. Uh, I really love that moment in the show, in the in the in the anime, <laughs> in the movie, in the Digimon movie. Uh, I used to watch that movie constantly. I loved it so much, and um, seeing Omnimon for the first time was one of my favorite memories. Um, I can't think. Like, uh, what are some others? I'm just gonna put it. I'm gonna leave it at that for right now. That's definitely uh, one of my favorites. Um, was just seeing Omnimon for the first time. I think as a kid, I was like, what the what? <laughs> Because uh, Digimon fusing is now like jaw dressing is just like so, you know, normal. But uh, I think another favorite memory. Now that I'm thinking about it, another favorite memory would definitely be uh, getting the twentieth. Um, even though it wasn't that long ago, it was literally like last year. But like, it was just a really good year in general. I want to say, or at least I think I'm romanticizing it. I'm definitely romanticizing it. But I, I do have a, a fond memories of running the twentieth and um, getting. Omnimon Ultra S. So Omnimon pretty much always is the center of some of my favorite memories. Uh, getting Ultra S was really hard, but when I finally got him, I was super happy and I felt really good. Um, so it's definitely another one of my favorite memories. Okay, so which is your favorite gameplay and which is most special to you emotionally? I love this question so much. Um, this is a really good question. So my favorite gameplay is a tie. I don't know. I, I, I like all of them so much. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It's a little cross the floor, but 
Sorry for anyone who's claustrophobic. I like all of these a lot. Um, I gotta say, honestly, when it comes to raising Digimon, I really like the gameplay of the 20th. Being able to run two at the same time, it's just awesome. Like, ever since, you know, again, reference to the Digimon movie, but, you know, uh, Willis had two Digimon, uh, and I always thought that was a cool idea. Um, so to finally be able to do that is really cool. Um, that's raising wise but I also really like the D-Cyber because of the adventure mode and all the other stuff it has. Uh, I, I like it uh, a lot. Um... I'd say it's between these two, definitely. Between these two. Uh, what's my what's the most special to me emotionally? So when I hear that emotionally, like that makes me think like what? Like if one of these, like if it was a, f God forbid, uh, there's a fire in my house, which one would I take? Um, probably the D three, but I'm not too sure. Like I don't want to be like sure about that uh, because I really like the twentieth. Again, I have a lot of memories with the twentieth, uh, especially this one. This one. Got me back into really, um, you know, really got me back into the whole raising Digimon thing. Um, because I never had one of these as a kid. I had, uh, like, one or two Tamagotchi growing up. I never had any of the Digimons, though. The ones where you raise them. Uh, so getting this and being able to run it and stuff, it was really fun, and I have a lot of really fond memories of this. And one of the reasons why I didn't want to reset it so I can get connections with that one is because, like, when I look through this, um... This is gonna sound really cheesy and dumb, but I'm being serious. Like when I look through this uh, this book, like I remember when I raised like all these guys, um, and it just brings back memories. And it's like it's great. Like I don't know this thing about it. Like it's crazy. Like I, I I'm surprised how much of an emotional attachment I have to this uh, this version twentieth. It's uh, kind of ridiculous. But uh, I think this one's one of the most special ones to me emotionally, just because of the amount of time I spent with it and the amount of Digimon I've raised on it. The amount of, like, I've had this for almost two years now, and or maybe no, yeah, almost two years now, and I, uh, I just I love it. I really do. Um, I remember I was raising. I, I mentioned it before, but I was I was raising a a Durandamon and a Jessmon, and they both died uh, very close to each other, and I, I, it really made me sad. Like I I. I uh, it, uh, I don't know, it is special to me. It is very special to me. Uh, but I also really like my D3. Because my D3, I've, I had, this is probably the oldest one I have. This, I've had my, this is my sister's. <laughs> my older sister's. Um, I got the green one, my sister got the blue one, but then my sister didn't really care about these, so I ended up playing with it the most. Uh, and I was able to find this one. I can't find my green one, though, still. I want to find it. DK is one of my favorites. Um, so this one also has a very special place in my heart. This and the, uh, the D terminal. Um, because I've had them for so long, um, they have a very special place in my heart. Uh, so yeah. Uh, what is on my to-buy list? A lot! <laughs> Thank you for asking. Uh, it is a whole lot. Um, I really want to get a mini. I've said that before, I, was, I totally, totally screwed up and missed out on that uh, one... There was an eBay listing of two minis. I just I should have just got them. Uh, I really want a mini just because they look cute. Oops, sorry. They're just because they look cute and it's like a fashion statement kind of. It's, I, I like them a lot. They uh, they look really cute. Um, the twins. Uh, I really like the look of the twins. Um, and the Pendulum X. I really want a Pendulum X. I really like how they look. I also want a Pendulum Progress. Pretty much everything I don't have is on my to buy list. Um, but if I'm being realistic, uh, the next Digivice, I, or device, anything I, I would buy is probably the Wave 2 uh, Pendulum 20th. But um, if we're talking about, like, what's something I wish I would have, would be the, uh, the Anime Color version 15th. Because those are super hard to find, and the only, that's the only version of that Digivice I want. Just that one. Uh, I, I'd honestly settle for the older Japanese one, which is not as accurate, but I would still settle for that. Um, because I don't want to get any of the colored ones. I just want that anime looking one, just because it looks cool. It looks, you know, accurate and stuff like that. So, yeah. Thank you, ARMY, um, for, uh, sending questions my way. Now let's get to the Discord questions. Uh, Discord questions... I'm doing this live. I didn't, like, snip these out or take screenshots. I was thinking about doing that. That would have helped me, but I didn't. Why didn't I do that? Why do I hurt myself? <laughs> um, god dang it. Okay. Okay. Alright, next is from Sideways. 
how you doing, Sideways? Shout out to Sideways. Uh, shout out to everyone who, you know. Uh, Sideways asks, what are the top three Digimon LCD uh, devices that I want to get my hands on? That is a great question. I kind of touched on it already, but if I had to make a top three of uh, ones that I like, I just really, really want. Like, there's a it's a mighty need. Uh, I would say the um, the version 15th, the anime original color. Uh, that one's super high up there. Um, that's one. Mm, top three. Uh, a Pendulum Progress. I really like the Progresses. I want to get one. I And also, because I doubt they'll make a version 20th of those, uh, I really want to get a Pendulum Progress. Uh, and... Hmm, what would be a third one? I'm thinking, like, what do I, like, super want? Like, super badly, but I can't afford or, like, get, I can, I can really use it, or I can't find a good price on them. Um, probably, and it's dumb because I have the DR Ultimate, but if I'm being honest, Henry's Digivice from, uh, Tamers, the, uh, D-Arc, uh, the green one, that's definitely up there. That one goes for so much. I guess Henry's a really, I guess Henry is a fan favorite. Um, I never knew that. I always thought people like Takata or... Uh, the girl more. I can't remember her name. I, I want to call her Rena, but it's, I, I doubt it's Rena. Um, her Digimon's Rena Mon, but not her. Um, but yeah, uh, I would I would put that up there because, like, like I said, Henry is one of my favorite characters. I really like him. I like Terrymon a lot, and it's also green. Um, this, and I just, it's always like one of the most expensive ones. Constantly is either that or the D Arc. I, I mean the D Arc Ultimate. So the gold one and the green one usually I see going for the most. Um, so yeah, those are definitely my top three. Um, why didn't I put the twins or the mini on there? I like them, but those three are just ones I'm always like constantly like fawning over. Also, finding Henry's device that's in good shape is hard too, because like it's a really nice looking green. It's kind of like a very shiny metallic green like this, and usually it's like chipped or something. Like I want a nice looking one. It doesn't have to be in the box. It just has to be nice. Um, my D-Arc wasn't in the box, but it was still in really good shape. Uh, so yeah. Thank you so much, Sideways. I'm serious. Um, I feel like more people sent questions. I feel terrible. I feel like more people sent questions, but I can't find them. Uh, but I think this is it. I think this is, these are the rest of the questions, sir. Uh, Darkness. So shout out to Darkness. Darkness actually has his own channel. Um, so I'll, I'll get to that in like the next part of this. Uh, this is getting long. I'm so sorry. Golden Shadow Knight 985 on YouTube. So he has a couple questions. What is my favorite Digimon game? I gotta be honest with you guys, I haven't played a lot of them. Uh, as previously stated, I played a little bit of Digimon World 1, and it just kind of confused me. Um, I have played Digimon Rumble Arena. I actually really like that one. And I've played Digimon Redigitized, but I haven't beat it. Um, I like, of those that I've played, I really, really like Redigitized. I like Taiga, he's a really cool looking uh, protagonist, I like his goggles. Um, the gameplay is really fun, I like the fact that it's a remake of the original one. Um, there's a bunch of Digimon in it. Raising is fun, I just wish that you could get more like experience and stats from beating Digimon in the wild, you don't, but I heard they fixed that in, 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 um, in Next Order, so Next Order is up there of Digimon games I really want to get. Same thing with the Cyber Sleuth series. Um, haven't played those yet. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm a fraud. <laughs> I usually stick to the uh, these, um, to be honest. Um, but I do want to start playing more games. But out of all of them, my favorite so far is Redigitize. Um, do I play any Digimon card games? I don't actually. Um, I have somewhere in this house some of the starter decks from like the older game. Uh, never like played it though. I never like tried to learn the rules or anything. Uh, card games, I don't play anymore. I used to be really big into Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Um, if so, do I know about Digimon Battle Evolution on Steam? I would love to face a fellow DigiTuber, a DigiTuber in a card battle. I've never heard the term DigiTuber used before, but I want to use it f more now because I love the sound of that. <laughs> DigiTuber sounds really cool. Uh, the DigiDestin or the DigiTuber 
I gotta find a way to work that into something. Um, do I have the game? No. Oh, wait. I also, I forgot to mention, I played the MMO on Steam. I downloaded it not too long ago, played it for like literally probably three seconds, and then immediately dropped it because you couldn't customize your own character. I found that very disappointing. Um, I might pick it up again one day, but uh, MMOs usually aren't my thing. Uh, I also play Digimon Lynx. It was okay. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Lynx. I don't like that they constantly try to make you spend money. Uh, but back to what he was saying, sorry. Digimon Battle Evolution on Steam. Um, do I have it? No. Do I know about it? Also, no. But I would love to fight you. Uh, I would love to face you. Uh, I will uh, try to download it when I can. I'm kind of super broke at the moment. But when I do get money and I do download it, I would love to uh, actually do that. That'd be a pretty fun little crossover episode. A uh, little fun Digi Daily X, uh, DGX uh, video, because uh, it sounds actually really cool. Uh, so, like I said, if you're interested in like Digimon, um, like the card games, uh, Darkness, he does a lot of he does a lot of those stuff. He does a lot of uh, videos of him playing the card game. So, if you're interested in that, I suggest you check him out. I will put a link to his channel, Golden Shadow Knight. Uh, his name's Darkness on Discord, but his uh, YouTube is Golden Shadow Knight. So uh, check out Golden Salad. Gosh, Golden Shadow Knight nine eight five on uh, on uh, <laughs> on here on YouTube where you're watching. Um, so that's so that's it for the questions, I believe. Um, if anyone else sent questions and I didn't ask, um, I'm sorry. I hope I answered everyone's questions. Um, maybe people actually sent questions to me and I just answered them in the comments. That might have happened. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for 100 subscribers. I cannot tell you how much that means to me. I cannot tell you how much it means to me. Oh, there's fireworks going off in my house right now. Don't worry, those fireworks. I live near a, a place where they do fireworks occasionally. That's just going to be on for the whole time, ain't it? That's going to be going on for a while. Um... Part of me just wants to power through this, though. Because it's getting late. <laughs> um, I'm going to do this again because uh, it's getting very loud. I'll be back in like five minutes. This video is going to be really long and take a wrong time. Okay, I'm, I'm back. The fireworks have stopped. Was, the fireworks are going off. <laughs> I was telling you guys how much I'm happy and I'm thankful. Uh, I really am thankful. Thank you very much. Uh, that's one. Two, because I have 100 subscribers, I want to like pay it forward if that makes any sense. Uh, if you watch my stuff, if you like DigiDaily, um, here's things I like that are also in the Digimon community. There's Golden Shadow Knight, which I've already given a shout out to. Uh, Digital Dream, uh, I've been watching a lot of his stuff recently. He does like weekly Digimon vlogs. Um, it's kind of like what I do, except more vlog style. I actually really like it, it's pretty cool. Uh, he seems like a really cool guy, um, and I like his stuff. Uh, he uh, doesn't have a lot of subscribers, though, um, sadly, but he does put uh, a lot of work in his videos. Whoops. Try to clean up. Just sorry. Um, yeah, he puts a lot of effort and work in his videos, uh, so if you like my stuff, I consider checking him out, too. Digital Dream. Uh, also, daughter of Anubis. She's on Tumblr. I don't know if she's on anything else. But she owns a crap ton of digital pets, not just Digimon, but like all kinds, Tamagotchi, other things made by Tomy, um, bootlegs, not bootlegs, they're just, she has a ton of them, and also a ton of real life pets. She seems like a really cool person, um, and she also has a criminally, a criminally low amount of followers, so if you like uh, updates on like people who do Digimon slash digital pet stuff, check her out too, um, because I really like her stuff. Um, and I think that's all as far as people I wanted to shout out and I want other people so like I said if you like my stuff go check their stuff out too give them some support like their videos comment on them subscribe to them if you really like them and follow them um, uh, don't do that whole thing where you tell them that I sent you though that that seems kind of annoying um, but just tell them how much you like their stuff <laughs> uh, but yeah that's it for today thank you very much uh, this has been, uh, a more chill 100 sub special than I was hoping, uh, but 500 subs, we're gonna be hella lit, uh, I promise, uh, but that's not anytime soon. So, yeah, thank you very much, and here's to June. Peace.